This is an honest review of the Cinco X Talk. The Cinco X Talk from the outside looks like a competitor to the Holyland Solidcom C1, but at a third of the price. However, it is a you get what you paid for situation with this product. It is an okay product, but it is on its own low budget class and not competing with AirTech or Holland, which is on a whole different price range. The Cinco X Talk comes in a pretty large case, which looks quite a lot like an aperture light case. On the lid, you get multiple double chargers instead of a single large charger, which isn't a major problem. Just annoying to find a lot of USB plugs. However, all the USB chargers are USB micro and takes about two and a half hours to recharge a fully empty battery. While I would have preferred to have something like the HoloLens, which is a single large charger via USB type C, which charges also a lot faster. The battery life of the Cinco X Talk is 20 hours, which is a lot more compared to the AirTech or Solidcom. And charging after one day of use is close to one hour to recharge. Now to the headset. The design is quite nice and it has a good fitting and can be used on either left or right side. There is a proper on and off button to prevent accidentally turning it off. Buttons on the side is to change the volume change the master unit and also turning off or on the denoiser. Also we have an audio port for monitoring audio which is very useful for the director to monitor the sound plus also give the instructions to the crew without needing two headsets. The range is about 350 meters or a diameter of 700 meters around the master headset. But honestly you rarely need such a large range even most occasions you'll be less than 100 meters away from set. The audio quality is really dependable on how loud the person is talking into the X-Talk. The louder the better the audio sounds but when the person talks softly or whispers the built-in denoiser makes the audio sound quite digital. Though you can turn off the denoiser but the result is hearing a lot more noise. One big drawback of the Cinco X-Talk is there is a 0.4 seconds delay on the audio. Which might not be a lot of delay, but it is quite noticeable when you're standing next to the person talking. Though in normal use cases, this won't be a major issue as instructions given over the intercom aren't always for instant actions. However, if you're communicating with a gaffer to move a light until you say stop, he might stop too late. Also because of the delay, it's not recommended to use it for live broadcasts to instruct camera operators. General use to instruct people to grab something or move something or asking questions about something over the intercom is no problem. The conclusion is the Cinco X-Talk X5 is an okay product that is usable on film sets, especially if you don't have the budget for the more expensive intercoms. However, if you need a zero delay intercom, it is more advisable to opt for the more expensive systems. Hope you found this review useful and thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.